The City Board of Aldermen doubled their pay today, but some aldermen, taxpayers, and even police call it a bad deal for taxpayers. Fox 2 investigator Elliot Davis breaks it down in tonight's You Paid For It. St. Louis Alderman voted 15 to 8 to double the pay of Alderman from $37,500 a year to $72,000. Alderwoman Carol Howard is the sponsor of the bill that was approved by the board. But the question was, why pay Alderman so much, $72,000? Well, again, you know, Aldermen have always been underpaid. Most, most aldermen have had to hold another job in order to support their families. Alderman Joe Vaccaro dead set against raising the pay of aldermen. He voted no. It's insane. It's a slap in the face to every city employee. The board is already heading for a major change. Back in 2012, city taxpayers voted to cut the board of aldermen in half from 28 down to 14. That reduction happens this year. The raises will go to the next group of aldermen who are elected to the reduced board. I talked to some taxpayers about the hefty pay hike for aldermen. I think that is crazy. How is that going to be beneficial for the citizens? I would honestly put the money elsewhere. I wouldn't say double the pay. They do need a raise, but not that far. The St. Louis Police Officers Association weighed in as well, saying in a statement, this is a slap in the face to every police officer as well as to every other city employee. At a time of historic staffing shortages, the Board of Aldermen has addressed the problem by rewarding themselves first and putting their employees last. Yeah. You think aldermen will deserve this money? I, well, I, here's, here's my thought. If aldermen don't live up to what they're supposed to do, the voters need to let them know by voting them out. The new pay hike for aldermen will take effect after the election this April when the new 14-member board is seated. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.